Yo, what is going on? What is going on, people? So, uh, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys today. Um, you know, just no reactions, no nothing. Um, I wanted to talk about, you know, um, being a creative and uh, why uh, creatives always have the hardest time um, just doing doing stuff and uh, and staying encouraged actually. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this video because um, you know I, I normally just stay quiet and see and observe what people do uh, in terms of them being creative or them um, expressing their, their creativity and their freedom and everything. Um, so, one of the things I feel that uh, kind of hinders uh, creatives is that the people who are in charge are not actually creatives. They're just normal people. They're just kawaii people. Like, they're not, they're not creative, so they don't understand what it means to have an imagination, have... Uh, have an idea uh, and so that leads to you know frustration on the part of creatives because there's this thing of um, I'm gonna probably break it down into like maybe maybe four points or five points uh, so the first point is um, the issue of freelancing like freelancing is a thankless job it's a thankless job like it's basically you playing Russian roulette with your creativity because uh, you can either get paid or you cannot get paid. It all depends on who you're dealing with. So if you're doing, for example, let's say freelance photography, uh, which is what I did before I came to the UK, um, you know, to continue with school and stuff. That's what I did for, for a little bit. And I only got paid off of one gig. And I, and I was trying to get like more gigs, more gigs to do photography and, and, and to kind of improve the skill as well. So, so it all depends on who you're dealing with. And I know that pisses a lot of uh, freelance people off, uh, which now ties in into number two, which is client expectation versus client reality. You can be given a job to do, you end up doing it even better than what the client expects but the reality is what the client wanted is not what you did you did something that they think is way beyond like you did too much and um, that ends up like annoying you first of all because you took your time to you know do this uh, for the client like you ended up going above and beyond just so that it comes out even much better than what they wanted but for them because they don't have creativity because they don't have uh, the imagination for it they end up looking at it like you did too much like this is not what I asked you to do I asked you to do some to do something basic you ended up doing something very much advanced and that's not what I hired you for so therefore I'm gonna pay you according to the basic stuff that you did I'm not gonna pay you or give you a bonus for the advanced, you know, advanced uh, stuff you did. And <laughs> that's just, that's just, it, it gets really annoying. It gets really, really annoying. Uh, and then, like, whatever, and, and also, it also uh, ties into uh, to being paid. Like, you can end up uh, doing what the client wants, exactly what they want when it comes to delivering the work you find out they've disappeared with your money they have disappeared with your money uh, or what you had agreed on is not what you get what is not what you're being paid for and so it becomes um, like a wild goose chase like you're just chasing around a client who said they were gonna pay you you agreed they were gonna pay you in advance and then uh, once the work is done, they're gonna, you know, top up. So when it comes to that, 
uh, things start getting complicated. Finally, and I cannot stress this, this enough to every single person watching this video. If you have a friend who is a creative, who is a photographer, who is a YouTuber, who is a just a creative in general, someone who has ideas and they're actually implementing their ideas, support them. Support them. Just if 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 you're a real friend, you can, you're gonna support them, even if it means you're gonna like kind of clown them for what they're doing. But you like deep down, you 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 know you're supporting, and. It doesn't have to be financial support. It doesn't have to be uh, like providing transport, like going to a gig or anything like that. Support them, support them emotionally, like support them emotionally. One of the things is that um, when you hear people have uh, issues with, uh, with mental health, it just means that uh, you know they've reached the like the top point like they just they're done they're done like they're, they're they're mentally unable to cope with what's going on and that's largely due to not getting supported um so i would say just just support your friends man like buy a ticket buy a ticket if they're performing at the gig even even if they're not performing at the gig and they're working backstage uh, or, or they're doing something around the gig Go support them. Buy a ticket. Um, purchase a mu purchase uh, purchase their music. It doesn't cost much much to purchase music these days. You can purchase it. You can download it. You can stream it. Just as long as you're supporting their their cause. There's so many there's so many uh, apps that you can use to to support uh, your friends your friends' music. Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Tidal, Deezer. There's so many so many ways you can support them in terms of the music you can uh buy you know uh buy buy one of their their, their art pieces like if they if they paint if they draw buy one of their art pieces like promote them like just help them out it's really really hard being a creative especially i know it's very hard to, to be a creative in nairobi a place where you know, creativity is not looked at as, you know, kind of like a full-time gig, like a nine-to-five. So, people look at it and, and, and they're like, you're, you're not conforming to what everyone else is doing. You're doing something else, which is not what you're supposed to you, Like, you're supposed to be, like, always, you know, corporate, you, 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 uh, mostly corporate, like you're in a suit and tie, you're just you know, adapting to what society's expectations of you are, and yet you know that you go above and beyond what society expects of you. Like, just, that that's all I wanted to say, like, and for my creatives out there, actually, stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. It's a long, it's a long journey. It's a long journey. Like, for example, I've been doing YouTube actively now for two years. And I'm only just getting to 200 subs. Like it's it's that it's that uh, hard. Uh, like even even uh, photographers, like any person who you see has a gift, has a has something that they're passionate about. Support them. Those are creatives. Those are people with ideas. Those are the people we need to run. Uh, things in society, but has, it hasn't gotten to that point yet, but it will. I genuinely, genuinely believe that um, creatives will be the ones to run things in the next five to ten years. Like, this, this other, these older generations are fading away, so it's, it's eventually going to be our turn, and it will be up to us to make sure that our kids to make sure our grandkids are gonna have a better world where you know being a creative is not looked at as a hobby or it's not looked at as a side gig like like you need a 95 to, to survive which is the case right now like you actually need a 95 in order for you to actually pursue your creative stuff uh, on the side just to make extra money 
Like it's, I, I believe it's gonna get to the point where being a creator is gonna be a full-time job. Being an entrepreneur is gonna be a full-time job. Being a painter is gonna be a full-time job. Being a photographer is gonna be a full-time job. Being a YouTuber is gonna be a full-time job, especially in Kenya. Um, because it's already happening outside here. Like there, there's big YouTubers uh, where I am outside of, uh, of uh, Africa. And I'm just encouraging you guys, man. Just keep, keep plugging away. Keep plugging away. Keep trusting the process. Uh, keep praying. Keep believing. Keep, you know, coming up with ideas. Put them, write them down. Just stay encouraged, guys. Stay encouraged. Uh, that's it, man. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll probably do one of these talks again. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. I feel I should uh, share in terms of my experiences. So yeah, peace. For the people, for the fans. Come on, gang, gang, I'm affiliated.